Neoforged is a continuation of the Forge mod loader, and a lot of mods are moving to Neoforged moving forward. So in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install the Neoforged mod loader, as well as add a few mods to Neoforged. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official Neoforged website, where once you're here, you can see the Neoforged downloads for Minecraft 1.20.2 and Minecraft 1.20.1. These are the only two versions versions of Neoforge. I don't think there are plans to go back and support older versions of Minecraft. So let's go ahead and start with the 1.20.2 version here. We then want to come over here and click latest Neoforge installer. And when we do, the download will start. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. From there, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move the Neoforged file we downloaded to our desktop. Most likely, the Neoforged file is going to be in your downloads folder, so we can go there and grab that. Here it is. Then we can move it to our desktop. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and open this with Java. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, if you don't have Java here, we need to go to the description down below and get it. Specifically, download Java 17 or whatever version of Java is listed here. For example, if it says Java 18, Java 20, that is perfectly okay because that's the version of Java you need for the most recent version of Neoforged. Once you're here, go ahead and click download, go through this guide, get Java installed. You may also need to run the jar fix, which is going to take all the jar files on your computer, like Neoforge that you just downloaded, link them to Java, and make them work happily together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. Nevertheless, now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and get this installed. Before we do that, though, what if you want to play Neoforge mods with your friends? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can quickly and easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and do anything else you want to your Minecraft server, and then play on that server with your friends. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, we have expert live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH and start a Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we've got Neoforged here. We can finally right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That opens up the Neoforge mod system installer here, where all we've got to do is click on Install Client here and click OK. It's then going to install Neoforge. The only reason this might not work is if, one, you've not played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, go play it. Just open it to the main menu. Vanilla, no mods installed or anything. Close out of it. Or two, if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are already open, this won't install properly. So you want to make sure those are both closed and then reinstall Neoforge. Nevertheless, as you can see, successfully installed client profile from Neoforge for version Neoforge, yada, yada, into a launcher. There we go. We can go ahead and click OK, and it will close out of that, and we can delete the Neoforge file from our desktop. Now if we open up the Minecraft launcher here, we will be able to see that we have a Neoforged profile and we'll be good to go. But if you don't have a Neoforged profile, I'm going to show you what to do. Assuming that you were able to get that success message when installing Neoforged though, generally you should have this right here. Neoforged already selected. Click play, click play again. But if for whatever reason you don't have this, come up to installations at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if you uncheck modded, it disappears. Check modded, there it is, Neoforge. Now, if you still don't have it here, what we want to do is go ahead and create a new installation. To do that, you want to go ahead and click this new installation button. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to start a Neoforge server and play it with your friends. And you want to click this version drop down box here. You want to select release in Neoforge. And then once you've done that, you're good to go. You might need to scroll down to find it but for me it's right up here towards the top i wish that the of minecraft version was listed in this but it currently isn't but since we've already installed this one time we know it's this one that's right up here towards the top you may need to scroll ways to find yours and it is possible that 20.2 is what we're looking at here which is the beginning version i'm not super sure on that but i wish it did specifically say 1.20.2 Nevertheless, we've got that selected here, and we can click our resolution drop down and select the resolution we want, and then click create. Now we can go ahead and click play, either on the Neoforge profile that's there by default if you have it, or the simplegamehosting.com profile that I created that most importantly says Neoforge under it. Click play, and click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. Now Minecraft's going to open up with Neoforge. However, how do you add mods to this? Well, in the description down below, we have two links. One to Modrinth and one to CurseForge, both showing Neoforge mods here. Now, you want to make sure that they're compatible with the version of Neoforge you're installing. For example, 1.20.1 Neoforge mods won't work with 1.20.2 Neoforge mods. So keep that in mind. So here we have roughly enough items. We can click on that, click on versions, and we'll be able to see that there is, in fact, a Neoforge 1.20.2. 
Click on the download button to the left here and it will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. With that downloaded, we can also check out Curse Forge. I'm not going to download any mods from here, but technically you can download Neoforge mods from here. There are a lot of them on here and uh, it is worth checking out if you want to go in and, uh, you know, get Neoforge mods from Curse Forge. That is in the description as well. Now with Neoforge open in the background here, we can see we have this mods tab. If we go ahead and click on that, this is where we'll want to go to click the open mods folder and then add our mods into this mods folder. I had Lightmatica in there from the past, but that's just ignored. So go to down our downloads folder here. Here's roughly enough items. Let's go ahead and drag that into the Minecraft mods folder here, right like so. Now, if you do have Forge mods in here, they will not work with NeoForge. NeoForge only works with NeoForge mods, so they have to be listed as NeoForge compatible to work with NeoForge in Minecraft 1.20.2 and higher. Nevertheless, that's now added, so we can go ahead and close out of Minecraft and reopen it with NeoForge as our installation or as our profile. As long as we do that, we are good to go. And again, you can use the NeoForge profile that was there by default or the one that you created if you needed to create one. Either one is going to work. And then once we launch Minecraft this time, roughly enough items in our case will be installed and working. So one thing that I did miss is that Roughly Enough Items does require these two configuration mods. Let's grab those real fast. So here we have Architecture and the Cloth Config. And of course, we just need to download the NeoForge 1.20.2 versions of both of these mods and then add them to the mods folder here right alongside Roughly Enough Items. Now when we do that and then we restart Minecraft, this will work. Um, I was looking, I couldn't see that these two were, were mentioned on the mod page itself. This is a little bit of a thing that I like to see. So, uh, unfortunately, Roughly Enough Items didn't really list those in a prominent way on their mod rent page. So maybe that's something that could be could be quickly added there that would help the uh, user experience for sure. We can go ahead and play again, assuming or making sure that we're playing our NeoForge installation there. And then once Minecraft's open, this time we can see if we go to the mods folder that sure enough, roughly enough items is installed and working. We can also quickly jump in game and see that these are working as well by opening our inventory. So boom, there it is, roughly enough items. So that's a complete guide to Neo Forge. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It means a ton to us and we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.